Hi everyone, today I'm reviewing the Aquachan Self-Tanning Body Milk. Um, I ended up giving this one 2 out of 5 stars, so this is another subpar product. I got this online on the Aquachan Aqua website, and it comes in a 4 ounce bottle. It's $42 for the 4 ounce bottle, so that works out to $10.50 an ounce, which is pretty expensive already. But then they charge you $7.50 to ship it to you. So that, that gets pretty pricey. Um, this is one of the more expensive self-tanners out there. Uh, this one, it says it's a self-tanning body milk, and that's exactly what it looks like when it comes out. It's very, it looks like milk. It's white and creamy looking, and it's also kind of thin and watery. So be careful when you're applying this one because it does have the potential to drip and get all over your floor. It, it's pretty um, thin and smooth feeling, very easy to apply. The smell is horrific. It smells like straight DHA. It smells really bad. It's one of the worst smelling self-tanners I've smelled. There was no um, attempt to cover up that DHA smell with any fragrance or anything. It smells like straight DHA. It's really bad. And I could still smell that DHA when I woke up the next morning. I could not wait to shower it off. Uh, once I showered off, it thankfully went away though. And putting this one on is pretty easy. I used a glove, uh, a mitt, but I don't know if it's absolutely necessary. Um, it's super easy to apply. Like I said, it's kind of watery though, so that's why I used the mitt just to hold the product in it so it didn't drip when I was applying it. Um, it goes on just like a body lotion. There's no guide, so it's, it's white and creamy looking. Um, if you don't use a tanning mitt, just make sure to wash your hands afterwards or else it'll stain them. And this one ended up producing a very light color. Um, so overall, it took like 15 minutes to dry. So I was really happy with the drying time. It dried really quickly. And at, once it dried, my legs actually felt really silky and smooth. So I think there are some ingredients in here that are good for your skin. It felt, my legs felt hydrated. And I was really happy with how quickly it dried. But the, the color it produced was just really light. Um, I think this is meant to be more of a gradual self-tanner, or that's how I would use it, because I wasn't happy with the color after one application. In order to maintain any, any tan, probably a light to medium tan, you'll have to apply it every day. Um, because after one application, I had virtually no tan. I didn't look splotchy or streaky or anything, which was nice, um, but I was just so light that you'll need to apply this one almost daily to maintain any tan at all. As it faded, it didn't become splotchy or streaky. I think that's because the, the color was just so light. Um, it also is kind of moisturizing, so I think that helps not that helps prevent streaking as it faded, which was nice. Um, but I just really didn't like the color at all. Um, it did last probably about two to three days before it started to fade. Um, but like I said, it's hard to tell because the product is just so light. Um, it, it was really hard to tell. Someone actually commented on how pale I looked, and that's not something you want to hear after applying this self-tanner the day before. Um, men, I don't think you're going to like this one. It's super expensive, and for the, for the result, it's just so light. You'll have to use a lot of it if you're applying it daily, so I just don't think it's worth it. Um, like I said, I got this one online. If you have any um, other questions or you want more information on this product, Visit us online at selftanning.com and on Facebook and Twitter.